Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about casting. What is it and why do we use it? So I'm going to right click here in the content browser. I'm going to go to blueprint class and we're going to create an actor. We'll call this guy something fun like Bowser. And we're going to open up Bowser here. And we're going to add a component. We'll just make him a really fun cube. And we'll call this Bowser Mesh. We'll compile. And then what we're going to do here in the event graph, we're going to delete all of this stuff. And we're going to make some variables here for Bowser. So we'll say Bowser hit. We'll leave this as a Boolean. We'll click here again and we'll say Bowser health. And we will make this a float. And we'll give him one more. We'll call it point value. And we'll make this an integer. This is how much we'll get for taking down Bowser. Okay, so now that we've compiled, we see Bowser hit. Since it's a Boolean, it only has this little box to either check or uncheck. Unchecked is false. Checked is true. We'll leave that unchecked. We'll give Bowser some health, like 100 points. And we'll say we get 15 points for taking Bowser down. We'll compile and save. And that'll be it for Bowser. Now, in our beginner character, or whatever character or actor you guys want to do this in, I'm just going to do this in my beginner character. I'm going to look at our player mesh. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom until I see these green uh, plus things. And I'm going to click the second one, On Component Begin Overlap. So hit that, and it'll create this overlap event for us. Now, one thing I forgot to do, we want to go into Bowser and make sure Bowser can overlap our player. So if we click on the mesh, scroll all the way down to the bottom, make sure we have Generate Overlap Events checked. And we don't want him to block all dynamic, we want him to overlap all. Because our player character is actually one of these. World dynamic is our player character, and we want to make sure Bowser can overlap the world dynamic. Alright, so compile, save. Now, for our beginner character, this overlap event will literally fire if anything overlaps your player character. And we don't want just anything overlapping our player character. We specifically want to find Bowser. So if we look at these pins, we have overlapped component, actor, other component, and some other random stuff down here. The one we want here is this other actor. Because Bowser is another actor. Now, the problem is, this pin as it stands could be any actor. Anything at all. And we want to make sure that it's Bowser. And the way we do that is by pulling off of here releasing and say cast to Bowser. We'll hit enter. So this is casting right here. We are taking this other actor which could be anything and we are trying to convert it into a Bowser. And there are two pins here. This one is for true. That's if this other actor is in fact a Bowser. This pin will fire. And this pin will fire if it's not a Bowser. So, off of this one, I'm going to just say print, and we'll hit enter for print string, and we're going to say not Bowser. So this way we'll know if something overlaps it that's not Bowser. But if something overlaps it that is Bowser, what we want to do well, if our player character is overlapping Bowser, that's what this is saying. If our player mesh overlaps Bowser, and that's true, we want to take away some of Bowser's health. But we can't just go off of this thing and say, get Bowser health. You see nothing comes up. And that's because this execution pin is in the player character, and the player character does not have any of those variables. We can't come off of this thing that says other actor, and say get Bowser health. You see nothing shows up. And the reason for that is 
this can only give you um, options that any actor can take, which means if it was the floor or a bullet or Bowser, if that was the overlapping actor, what can all three of those things do? Well, they can't all they can't get Bowser's health. A bullet can't get Bowser's health, but you can get class, you can get can be damaged, you can get all kinds. These are common to any actor. But if we uncheck context sensitive here, and then we look for get Bowser health, if I spell it right, you see now this stuff comes up. Why? Because this is under the class of Bowser, and you would be able to do something here. But you can't just drag off of this thing here and start modifying those variables. So what we need to do is actually make sure we are in a Bowser class. Because if you do this, and you say get Bowser health, see what happens? It breaks. Because this isn't a Bowser. It could be, but we don't know for sure, and computers do not like uncertainty. So what you have to do, we'll delete that, is you cast a Bowser. And what this casting does this allows, you see this pin at the bottom here, this is like a key into this blueprint. So the Bowser blueprint up here has these variables that we created, but in the player character we can access them by casting to Bowser and then pulling off of this pin because this says, as you can see here, as Bowser. So if this other actor is the object that we put into here and this is true, this is actually a Bowser, then you now have access to the variables inside the Bowser class. So we can now look for Bowser health. And you see, here we'll click context sensitive again. Get. Why is that not working? Let's do this. Get Bowser health. There we go. So we can now get the health. And what we want to do is subtract. So we'll drag off of that and look for float minus float. And we'll just say take 10 points away from Bowser. And then we want to set Bowser's health. So we have to again start from here and say set health. And you see Bowser health comes up. And we want this to be set off of the true. So if we did overlap Bowser, we want to set Bowser's health to whatever it was, minus 10. And to make sure this happened, we'll drag off of this and say print. So we want to print the string. So now it'll come to the screen what Bowser's health is after an overlap. And we'll hold control and click on this and move it up here to string. Now that was one variable. We also made a couple other ones. So we can say set hit and you see Bowser hit. That was false, but if we go here, we can connect this up and we can make this true. So let me go back into Bowser and we'll right click in here and say begin play. And just so we can see what all of these variables are, when you start, we'll drag this out, hold control and release and you'll have the git Again, drag out, hold control, drag out, hold control. And now we'll just say print string. And we'll make three of these. So control C, control V, control V. And we'll hook each one of these up. And then we'll hook these up. So when we start the game, we are going to read the variable Bowser hit. We'll read how much health Bowser has, and we'll read whatever the point value is for Bowser. So compile and save. And now, after we overlap Bowser here in the player character, we're going to change these things, and we'll see them printing out. So we'll print this. We'll hit Control c Control v And we'll print this value now. And same thing with the point value. So we'll come back here to as Bowser and say get point. And you see we have point value here. And just for simplicity, we'll just have this print to the screen. Control C, Control V. And we'll 
just print it. We won't do anything special there. So we'll compile and save. And now we will take Bowser and put him into our world so we can go and attack him. And we will hit play. Now you see it said not Bowser. Why? Because Bowser actually overlapped the floor, which is not a Bowser. So we printed that. And then we printed the three Bowser variables. This is from the Bowser um, blueprint itself, which is false, 100 points of health, and 15 points for um, killing Bowser. So now we're going to run over here to Bowser and see what happens. See, we overlapped Bowser there. And now it printed out 90, true, and 15. So he had 100 health initially. Now he has 90 because we took 10 away. And initially Bowser hit was false. And now that value is true for that Boolean. And it's still 15 points for killing Bowser. All right. So we just modified these three variables here one, two, and three, of Bowser from the player character. So Bowser is the one that actually has the variables, but we change them in the player character here. You see these variables aren't in the player character, they're actually in Bowser. And that is why we use this casting node, because the cast allows us access to all the variables that are within Bowser, so we can do whatever we want with them. Alright guys, I hope that was helpful, and if it was, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, see you guys later.